Matthew, another stone I wanted to preview for you. This is a suita. This is from the Okuro mine. And this is a mine famous for their suita stones. This is a very hard stone, a level 5 to 5 plus uh, hardness. So it doesn't give up a slurry very easily. But I'm bringing back both of these tools. This is a kiridashi and a kana blade. And I'm going to preview the stone first with clear water with a kiridashi. And this is the, uh, oh, the uro side. This is all hard hagane steel. This stone is so hard that it doesn't self slurry. And it is polishing the blade to an extreme. This, for you, would be the final step to actually polish the blade to a certain extent with clear water. Now if you add, uh, this, for instance, a Mikawa Nagara, a slurry stone. The slurry, in this case, is going to be about 90% from the Mikawa. And the Mikawa does have a certain amount of particle grit in it. But you're not going to get the real amazing cutting action out of this stone with just the Mikawa Nagra. So the other alternate would be to have a, a different grit uh, Nagra, something that might be a little bit more fully charged with with native grit. That's a Tomonagra. And we're getting a, a slight amount of cutting action, but not a great amount. The slurry has turned dark, but not black. So we'll rinse off that slurry. Now if I bring back in a diamond plate, this is an Atoma 600 when it was brand new and now it's acting above a thousand, definitely 1200, maybe even 12 or 1500 uh, comparison. I raise a slight slurry. So this slurry is made up 100% of the um, Okudo now. There's no alternate uh, grip particles in here. Here's the Ura side. And you can see immediately how the slurry is getting dark gray, charcoal gray. And there's a lot of uh, cutting action happening right now. So that's with just. Um, the Diamond Nagra. I'll set the Kiridashi aside and I'm going to isolate this, this slurry up here and I'll work down here where the slurry is still uh, light colored. This is a Japanese Kana blade and I'm going to use the Ura side which is all Hagane. And you can see how quickly, there's a lot of surface area here, so there's a lot of steel touching the blade. You can see how quickly the black develops. And of course, with a wide blade, I can apply more force down on the stone. So that's just another example of two, two different stones. The first one we used, or uh, three stones, we had the Kita. Nakayama Kita, Nakayama um, Suita, and then, then this Okudo Suita. So these are two, two videos, but they're tied together through the use of these two blades.